Hey, what is up guys? Today is a new day. I hope you guys are having a great day. Working towards your goals, being productive, and absolutely freaking crushing it. It's like 8.30 in the morning right now, and I am riding my bike around town in my high vis with some sunglasses on. Don't know what I'm doing today. Don't know why I'm out here, but I think it's gonna pour rain later today. I don't wanna be a part of that, so I'm gonna bike right in right now. I had to stop at Tim's. You guys knew that, all right? Like, you just, uh, yeah, okay, we're good. So basically, right now, I don't know if you guys could hear me, I'm still on the small camera that I had yesterday when I was gonna go hang out with all the guys. Didn't end up filming anything there, so this might just be a carry-on from yesterday's video. Honestly, I really don't know, but whatever. I'm going to go hang out with my mom for the morning at least, possibly for most of the day. We're gonna go up to Woodstock and drop off a few papers for a meeting and possibly go to a bike store. I really don't know what the plan is. I just know that we're going to Woodstock and that's about it. But I haven't hung out with my mom in a while so this should be a fun day. All right guys, I am just cruising around with my mom. We did all the things that we needed to do and we went to a bike store and I don't know if I've mentioned it. I think I mentioned that I had bike pedals that Mr. T gave me because I let him borrow my bike so he gave me some clip-in pedals. But they were mountain bike clip-ins and I have road bike shoes but I don't have road bike pedals and I don't have mountain bike shoes. So like I've got one of each of the wrong things so I can't use either of them. So I, uh, I broke down today and I bought myself a pair of mountain bike shoes and mountain bike cleats. So now I can actually ride my bike clipped in for the first time in two years. This is gonna be interesting, and that's what the vlog's gonna be. I'm going to put the pedals on my bike, and I'm going to clip in, and we're gonna go get a KOM today. What is up, guys? Today is a new day. I hope you guys are having a great day. Working towards goals, being productive, and absolutely. Oh, I already did do this. Shoot. I already did the intro. So, I'm back home now. I'm on the big camera. I put the small camera back in my bag. Let's see, what do we have to do? Yeah, we have to put these pedals on one of my bikes, not that one because, well, it's not done being clear coated. We need to put those pedals on either the Kona or the fat bike. Probably the Kona because I got these shoes. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, brig yeah. I am so excited. They got the little ratcheting mechanism in it. Uh, basically, it just kind of clicks on your foot like, I'll show you when I put it on my feet. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Baby, bike looks way different now. I don't know, I love the blue pedals that were on there. They match the color scheme perfectly, but we have to figure out how this works. I'm genuinely super excited for this. This is like the whole video. Mm, yes! We gotta put the, the cleats on the shoes now. The, the cleats are the little metal clips that clip into that, so the cleats go on the bottom of the shoes, which is strange because sometimes you call shoes cleats depending on what they are, so it's like you're saying putting shoes on shoes. Dotted cleat. Focus! Focus! The dotted cleat. So out of the two, this one's got the dot on it and that one doesn't. The dotted cleat goes on the left shoe. Okay. Okay. I think I can kind of explain this right here. This, this should work. Oh, I got cyclist legs. Isn't that so beautiful? Right here. Um, you're supposed to figure out where the big bone part of your foot is, like the, the bone part. Draw a little pencil line, which I have done. And then that, right there, 
that line right there centered with this minus two millimeters is where your cleat should go. I'm about to do that right now, now that I've drawn my pencil line. All right, guys, we got the clips on there for the cleats. The cleats are on the shoes. Now I'll show you exactly what it looks like when you try to like jam this in there without me actually putting the shoe on. So it kind of looks a little something like this. You slide your toe in and then you push your heel down. This is a lot easier when you have the full force of your leg and it's just attached to your foot. But you would push this. I'm just gonna have to put it on my foot and show you. How do they look? Do they look cute? Do they make my butt look nice? Ah, just kidding, don't look at my ass. It's kind of weird. I just make YouTube videos. I'm not a sex object. Please don't comment in my videos like I am. Thanks, guys. I just felt like I needed to say that. And since I'm looking at myself in the screen over there and I have sunglasses and I look pretty serious right now, The only way that I can like really just show you is by actually doing it. Okay, that was easy to clip in. Nope. Okay, it's definitely more difficult to clip in with these than it is to clip in with mountain, or sorry, with road bike shoes. Oh, frig yeah, boys. I'm excited to go on a bike ride. I could pull up, right? Like my other foot's not even on the bike, but I could pull up. And so that lets you they get that much more power. To actually get out, you have to twist your heel off like that. And that's something that I learned how to do super easy with my like road bike pedals. And I think it's a little bit different. I think it's a little bit harder to get into these. It's something I'm definitely gonna have to learn how to do and I will figure it out. And you know, like this is the first, that's the first time I ever clipped in with mountain bike shoes. This is the first time I've even freaking worn them. I'm gonna get this bike outside and go for a rip. So let's get to it. I'll explain the physics later. So uh, that didn't work out too well, as you saw there. I just spent, I don't know how long trying to clip into the dang thing, and it just wouldn't go. So I'm gonna try something a bit different. I know it, they're wet, but I don't think that should have too much difference on like, you know, how hard it is to get these clipped in. But like, it's really strange that they just, it wouldn't clip in right away. All right. I put it in the middle now. Oh boy, the bike's tipping over. I put it in the middle now. See, it's a bit different. Maybe not. Maybe you can't tell from the last shot. I don't think it helps that it's slippery out. It's, it's all wet. Everything's wet. Because I remember road bike clips, they were even hard to do when it was wet. So I don't think I've given myself the best opportunity here. Oh, there we go. I might go for a bike ride, I might not go for a bike ride. I think I want to. Definitely not with this camera, it's gotta go inside like right now because it's, it's, it's bad, it's raining bad. So, let's go inside. Heart rate monitor, oh yeah guys, so uh, I said that I was gonna go for a bike ride, I'm like, oh I'm gonna take the little camera with me, oh I'm gonna take this camera with me, well guess what, I changed my freaking mind, I'm not doing that. I am actually going on a bike ride because I figured if I'm clipped into the bike with these things, then I really don't need to be falling and hitting my head without a helmet on. So, I'm gonna wear a helmet. I think I'm all matchy. Look at this, you got the green, 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 ah, the green. And a little bit of red on my uh, headphones, right here. Boom. Complimentary colors, analogous color scheme. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Stay here, and I'll be back when I'm done with my bike ride. Also, I don't know about you guys, but the batteries from Amazon for this camera are shit. 
They last half as long as the normal Canon ones. This one's already dead after 25 minutes of filming. Thank you. Good day. I'm sure by now you guys are numb to the fact that this is the sixth vlog in a row that I'm ending the video on the exact same day that I'm posting the video because I didn't finish it the day that I recorded it. So I've been a little bit behind with the whole editing, not the recording, but the editing. So there is, there is a pretty good reason that I haven't been editing and uploading daily and I will let you guys all know that in due time, but the one part that I can let you know right now is that I am emptying out the storage room that is right there and putting all of the stuff in here and that means like putting this cabinet in. So I've got this cabinet taken out of that room, the other room's a real big mess right now. This room's a huge mess, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a couple of bikes over there where I actually do all my computer work. So there's things everywhere and not one clear desktop except for like right there. And even that is not really. So guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters and our number one Patreon supporter, Randy. It's not going to focus, but Randy's name is right there on the wall. If you want your name on the wall right there, you have to become a legend tier Patreon supporter. So check that out the description of this video. I got this vice, this vice, a hand planer, and two of those organizers for 20 bucks at a yard sale. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe learned something new. Hopefully, one of those things got satisfied. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace. How many of you just got that like weird like feeling in your back like, oh my god, he didn't finish the video. He didn't say out. Well, out.